Nope. 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 I still absolutely hate running. So there you are. No. What? You know what? I don't. We are not doing this again. But we haven't done it in ages. For very good reason. Last time we started with two Johns and before you knew it there was like ten different Johns. And a talking cactus. I'm a succulent. Don't you start. But people loved Zach. No they didn't. The analytics literally show people clicked off as soon as they realised they were watching someone talking to a pissing cactus. Okay so don't talk to the cactus. Oh I won't be and I won't be talking to you. Why not? Because the channel's moved on. We've got way more support subscribers and we do vlogs now. No one remembers the old sketches. So why have you written a whole script for this sketch? Don't mention the script, that spoils the illusion. But you include the line about the script in the script, as well as this line. <sighs> Look, it's hard to come up with new things to film every single day when you're trying to not leave the house. Is that why you didn't put a video out yesterday? Yes. And why you decided to bring this tired old format out of retirement? Exactly. So what are you going to film today? I don't know. So have you filmed working out yet? Yep. Time lapse? Yep. Coffee? Of course I've included coffee. What about shots of your hand opening doors? Look, I've done all the usual things. I'm completely out of ideas. Well then, there's only one thing for it. What's that? Tier list. Surely not. Why not? Everyone loves a tier list. I'm not sure that's true. And even if it was, what would I do a tier list on? Didn't you buy celebrations yesterday to top up the mega tin? Why not rank them? Isn't that a bit too similar to the heroes one? I think it might come across as a bit lazy. Well, just write a sketch where you explain that you know that it's lazy and maybe the audience will forgive you. Do you think that will work? So it is time for yet another festive chocolate tier list. Today we are doing celebrations. Now I've just realised that there's only 8 celebrations whereas there was 12 different varieties of quality street. So it may be a little shorter but let's uh, jump right into it. And we're going to start today with the chocolate that started it all off for the Mars company. The Mars bar. The humble Mars bar. And this is uh, very unexciting. Sorry. Disappointing start, but it has to go in bang average. I just, it's its so unexciting. It's just sort of a meh chocolate. So, uh, sorry Mars, you know, I, I, I like you, but you know, you're a bit boring. Next up is a Galaxy. Now, I can't decide if I prefer dairy milk or if I prefer Galaxy chocolate. I think I might prefer dairy milk, but there's not a lot in it. I know that a lot of people in my family prefer the Galaxy. Um, I'm going to put this as a solid choice chocolate because you can't go wrong with plain milk chocolate and Galaxy chocolate, a pretty decent chocolate, so definitely a solid choice. Next up we have a Twix, and this is going to be a controversial one because a lot of people love a Twix, and to be honest with you, so do I. But I think I said this in my mega chocolate tier list video, I just think that Twix has lost a bit of its shine because when I was young I was allowed it in my lunchbox because it's got biscuit in it, and because it's got biscuit in it, is it an exciting chocolate? I think when it comes to the celebration tin, I'm not excited by that. That is meh. Sorry Twix, you are tasty, I do like you, but as a celebration... Meh. 
Next up we have the Galaxy Caramel. As you saw, the Galaxy Plain Dairy Milk Chocolate in Solid Choice. If you've watched any of my chocolate tier lists before, this won't be a surprise to you. It is a top tier chocolate. Anything with caramel in it is top tier. Galaxy Chocolate is gorgeous. The caramel in it, mwah, top tier. This next one will also not be a surprise to you for anyone who has watched any of my previous videos. Bounty, absolute bin tier. I've said it a couple of times already, but there'll be plenty of people in the comments that still say, oh, I love a coconut chocolate. Send your coconut chocolates to me. Don't put them in a bin, but you can't trust these people. I've said it before. I'll say it again. They say they like coconut and then they don't eat the coconut. They wait until they're all left at the end. They're sneaky. Don't trust them. Coconut, bin, coconut people, not your friends. Next up, we have a Snickers. Now, this is interesting because when I was younger, I used to hate the idea of nuts in chocolate, but actually this has grown on me. This has grown on me massively to the point where now it is well up the rankings. Before this would have been a bin tier for me, whereas now modern day John, solid choice. So, so, so close to the top choice, but the top choice is reserved for the chocolates that you immediately reach for when a fresh tin of celebrations is cracked open. So unfortunately that can't be there. Next up we have a Milky Way. Now this is gonna surprise a lot of people, but whenever I finish a tin of celebrations, which I regularly do this time of year, there's plenty of bounties left in the box, obviously, but the next most common thing left in there is a Milky Way. And I used to love these as a kid, but what I found is I have to acknowledge that I don't actually go for them that often anymore. Sorry, Milky Way, but is that okay? That is going to annoy some people, isn't it? Sorry. Which means we're down to the next chocolate, the Malteser Teaser. Um, Charlie's opinion on these, actually, I'll go ask Charlie her opinion. You working? Yes. I just have a quick question for you. What is your opinion of this? Take it or leave it. Yeah, you're not a big fan, are you? Don't what about Maltesers in general? Mm. No? No. So if they're on the tier list, they'd go in the which tier? Uh, the one above bin. Meh? Meh. Hmm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now, do I agree with Charlie? Absolutely not. Her not liking Maltesers has got to be the single biggest strain on our relationship and the thing that's made me question everything the most. The Malteser Teaser is a top tier chocolate. I don't know anyone who disagrees with that. So if you're the person who disagrees with that, first of all, I think you're just being contrary. And secondly, I don't believe you. So yeah, Malteser Teaser, top tier. To be honest with you, if there was a tier above that, it could go there. I think it's the absolute best in the tin. End of. So there you have it, the mega tin is overflowing again and we have another festive tier list and the Malteser teaser has come out as the king of celebrations and I'm going to put it out there, the king of all chocolates that you can get in a tin at this time of year and if you disagree with me, you can let me know why in the comment section down below so I can understand why you're wrong and if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet and become a baby John then please do and help me get more BJ's. Did you like the video? Hit the like button if you did. If you dislike it, then dislike it. Subscribe again if you haven't already. And of course, until next time, let's celebrate this piss off. The boy John, the boy John, the boy John. He may have forgotten about me, but I haven't forgotten about him. <laughs>